My name's Alex Clegg uh, and I uh, finished uh, in the UCL Anthropology Department in uh, 2018 um, and at the moment I'm working for a charity called Sense About Science um, which is an independent charity that promotes the public interest in science and evidence. At Sense About Science Really, I'd say uh, there's uh, three groups of people we tend to engage with. And there's the, the general public and how they understand and use science um, and a wider evidence uh, in their daily lives or maybe in their profession. And then there's the researchers, the people uh, who produce uh, the scientific uh, understandings of the world around them and also um, um, maybe produce evidence um, for um, certain decisions that have to be made or um, um, reports about society. Uh, and then there's the decision makers in, so in society. Uh, so we work a lot um, with uh, in Parliament um, and also in the European Parliament as well and making sure that um, uh, politicians and parliamentarians in general are equipped to scrutinise the evidence they come across and making sure that um, uh, their, uh, their policies are informed by the right evidence and whether they're asking the right questions of that evidence as well. First of all, being willing to engage in a conversation. So uh, the amount of times we were sent off into the world to go talk to uh, a certain group of people or individuals uh, about um, a topic. Uh, so for example, I remember my first social um, research class um, and we got sent to Euston Station to go and mess around with queues. And they told us just to stand in a queue and uh, not take a ticket or jump in a queue and uh, see what people do. And so uh, very quickly they, um, they eroded any inhibitions you might have about going out into the general public and engaging with people. And I have to do that a lot in my work um, and go uh, speak to community groups around the UK um, and to researchers about how they, how they can uh, um, engage people with their research and speak to politicians as well. And it's a, sometimes it's a, a bit of a leap doing it, but it um, definitely prepared me just to get out there um, and then you know uh, before this stage um, what I've definitely found useful is finding uh, people and community groups and um, organizations out there that on the surface you might not necessarily think of engaging with complicated science or um, evidence in their work or you know in their day-to-day -day life but uh, what I found is people do, and uh, lots of people actually do care about science and evidence. And it's, um, and it's um, being able to map them and then speak to them um, on a level that they understand. You know, not everyone's gonna be an expert in a certain field, but they'll have, um, they will care about the uh, evidence on whether their, um, uh, the clinical um, heart surgery unit where their child is gonna undergo surgery then they suddenly care about the evidence and it's really important to them. And so there is a, a link to be able to engage that person in a conversation about the, about the, um, the, the scientific understanding um, and uh, the evidence base which they base their decisions on. I'm going to be shifting to a part-time contract at Sense About Science um, with a, a goal to uh, actually go back and study anthropology as well. Um, yeah, because uh, I found there's, a, there's so many times where um, my you know, training, undergraduate trainings and anthropologists has really helped me just to understand the situation out there and being able to engage with it. Um, but what I really want to do is to pursue that further and uh, first of all, develop just my theoretical understanding of anthropology and um, anthropological approaches to certain situations or issues in society. Um, but then I think what's really important is to get um, sort of anthropology engaged in these debates as well. Uh, you know, I, I view it as the most engaged subject in the terms that it actually goes out and speaks to real people about real issues um, and has a, you know, a really unique approach to that. But then uh, it often can um, you know, stumble and maybe fall a bit flat when it actually comes to communicating uh, those findings to the general public or to the people that, you know, it really matters to decision makers and policy makers in society. Studying anthropology, it, it opened up um, my understanding of the world and society in general. I think in my um, personal statement, I said, uh, you know, uh, 
like people are weird <laughs> I, I don't really understand why people do certain things and i just I'm kind of interested in finding that out. And it definitely does that. You know, it's it's a really radical way of viewing the world in a very uh, different way. And, and uh, you know, once, uh, you know, actually developed a more complex understanding of anthropology and what it can offer and the insights that it can give, uh, it is insanely valuable. And I can see, you know, it um, allows me to approach my work and engage with people um, in a very nuanced way. Um, so not necessarily, you know, working in um, uh, with public engagement in science is not necessarily going in and, you know, just talking about, you know, how great genomes are and, you know, everyone should care about them. They're really, really interesting. You know, you can find by, um, the, the connection which where it really matters to people and begin to have a conversation about that. And um, I don't think that would have been possible without studying anthropology. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then also, I think, uh, going back to what I said earlier about in terms of getting out there, it, it makes you get out into society and, you know, and um, and speak to real people about, you know, the things they do and uh, how they perceive the world. And those practical skills, you know, in anthropology, I think, are uh, invaluable. Uh, first of all, being able to just be quiet and listen to someone, um, that's... Um, really, really helpful. Um, and you, you learn a lot more from someone. And then being able to have a conversation with someone, uh, maybe not about, you know, uh, ideology or, you know, about how you don't agree with them. You can uh, talk to them uh, in a more nuanced way, in a more understanding way. And then you can uh, you know, inform your work, or your general life, or your conversations with other people from that, and it's a lot more constructive than just um, you know, yeah, debating with someone again about issues that you, know, you care about and may, may necessarily disagree with.